So welcome back to Trials After Justice, Part 2. And, through a bit of careful editing, I managed to delete the, uh, autopsy and add the proper autopsy report to the court record. Okay. Time of death, 4.35. Victim was fatally strangled, left leg broken a few days prior to death. Through careful editing, I managed to hack that in. I don't know if it's just the version I have, but in the intro text file, it just it uh, adds autopsy to the, ev to the starting evidence, while in the evidence file, the name of the autopsy report is listed as just, just autopsy report. Hence the uh, b blank white square with just autopsy on it. So with that done, let's move on. Just one. The only problem I found so far is just that bogus autop that autopsy square of death. But we solved that problem. Of course you weren't. <laughs> Waste pouch with all kinds of paint in it. And paintbrush. Paintbrush. Hmm. Ding. Ding. Are you sure that's his paintbrush? A key? It's a funky looking key. Ah, safe deposit box key. Deposit key. Oh. In other words, just press. Really now. <laughs> of course you do. And you didn't. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, poor gummy. And that's it for that. <sighs> I agree. Really? the truth. I guess. Yes, please. How the murder happened. The chess game the defendant showed Mr. Carter his por Carver his portrait. And Mr. Carver made his last insult and defendant attacked. Really? Then the killer took the body and dragged it to the bench. Hmm. Hmm. Really? Really, Mr. Rookie Killer? Ha <laughs> ha! Well, 
Well played. Now then. Yes, please. Looking forward to this. Mr. Gurbain did, actually. Oh. <laughs> How nice of him. That idiot got me so mad for what he said. <laughs> really? Needed paint supplies with them, yeah. Would have been an easy frame job. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, Gumshoe. Thank you, Judge. And now. Yeah. Moving on. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, yeesh. Calm down. <laughs> You're still new at it. You can prove that you didn't choke that man to death. So we have that. Defendant attacked. There's two in a few interesting ways we could look at this. Hmm. Let's see, first of all... Did we look at that yet? No, we didn't. Looks cool. Okay. Huh? Yes. What a nice objection. Oh dear. <laughs> but now you gotta cause the drama. Oh, of course. The victim's neck is clearly bare in the picture. Now that I think about it, that wasn't the road I was going to take. The other question we'd, I had was what happened to the guy with the spiky hair? But hey, that works. But he's a finger painter.
Oh, come on, Gumshoe. It's not that hard. I really like that Maya sprite. That's re that was really well done. somewhere else. Probably wanted to relax over where the benches are. So he just stood up and walked over to sit on the bench. That's when the defendant covered his hands and lashed out to choke him. And that's how everything went down. Really? Hmm. Gumshoe. You and me. Let's do this. I don't think we're gonna get much from pressing. But we'll try it anyway. Just in case. I don't... It doesn't sound unreasonable. benches are. Yay. Hmm. Yeah, it does. To me. Okay. Shockingly. Nice. Alright, just stood up and walked over to sit on the bench. Oh! It's in the autopsy report. Yeah, that he does. Uh... Let's just go back here. And present the autopsy report. Because his left leg was broken a few days prior to death. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> Trying to enjoy it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Keep going, pain. 
Yes, thank you. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, poor gumshoe. Well, there's a crutch in the picture. And his crutch was didn't take didn't take it with him. He did have a crutch. Multiple crutches. Yeah, that's believable. But... <laughs> no, it doesn't. And then proof. Because of that. Boom! Shakalaka, take that. No. Come on. Of course you do. There we go. Let's point at Mr. Crutch. There we go. resolution and good yep how you can use crutches that Ha <laughs> ha. He did. BRB.